Welcome back. We've got another SE16H video for you. And today we're going to cover the um, having options. And you're going to see that those are columns. Uh, we're going to scroll over to the right here. Uh, you're going to see that those are columns that you have here. Having option and having value. And those are going to be available on uh, columns that the total option is active. So let me show you how that works. Um, let's pick a table here. Um, get that pasted in. All right, so um, I'm going to deselect everything first. Deselect all. And let's see, we're going to do a find um, a particular field here that we want. All right, so I'm going to want contract account and I'm going to want to group that. And um, let's see. We want to also uh, look for amount. All right, there we go. So we're going to output that, and we want that total. So let's go ahead and run that without using the having options uh, yet. OK, and you can see it is definitely grouped by contract account, and I've got some amounts here. All right, but notice I've got lots of values that have blank. I'm going to page down. You can see some other entries here. Um, I've got uh, lots of entries that have no amount values. So I'm going to back up. And let's now scroll to the right. So here's that um, amount row. Let's scroll to the right and take a look at those having um, options. Let's drag this over a little more. All right, I'm going to go ahead and click on the having option. And we're going to say that we want the values to be greater than 0. All right, and I'll go ahead and run that again. All right, so now you see if it's gotten rid of those um, items that it's grouped that had an amount uh, that was uh, zero or less. Um, so now let's try it again, and we'll say that we want to see um, anything that's uh, greater than 95,000, and we should only end up with these three entries at the top. So let's try that one more time. We're going to change this to 95,000 and run that. And you see we now have only three entries. So um, it was another quick video, uh, but wanted to just show how the having option and having uh, value uh, columns work. Now, if you don't see these columns in the SAP system uh, that you're working with, uh, there's a specific um, SAP note that you can go take a look at. And that note is 28. 02623. And uh, you'll also see that um, in the uh, description for this video. You can uh, reference that note. Um, but you will uh, need that note um, in your system in order to see these two columns. Hope this video helped. Thanks for watching.